Hey everybody, Peter Vaughn from Cardboard Alchemy, and I'm here to tell you about another game you should play. And this time it's about Role Player from Keith Macheka at Thunderworks Games. He's the designer and the publisher, and he signed a copy just for you. All you have to do is comment on this video in January or February of 2021 and subscribe to our channel and you can win it. Now in these videos, we don't do a whole how to play. There's tons of content out there about role player, but instead we're gonna give you about a five minute video with a couple of points to tell you why this game is so awesome and why you should own it, try to win it, and then if you can't, uh, you know, get this game. So role player, you know, it stood the test of time. It's been out there a while. When it came out, my partner at Cardboard Alchemy, Brad Brooks and I, actually had a similar idea. We were, we were talking about a Kickstarter. Well, what if you made a game out of rolling up a character for D&D? And then we saw this game and Keith, nailed it it's so perfect so my first point is that it really is kind of D, D like it scratches that itch it gives you that that sense of like oh i'm playing an orc and i've got you know this backstory and this is my alignment and it's got all the flavor that you kind of want out of D. &D. it sets you right up you kind of feel like playing D, D right after you've played this game now my friend astrid used to call it math the game which is also kind of true it, it it's abstract and it feels crunchy so it's not quite as thematic, but what I feel like is it still has the right amount of theme. It still feels like a D&D setup. The second thing about it is that there are tons of ways to win. There are tons of ways to manipulate the game. It's not just, you know, single layer where you're just trying to get to 18 points uh, for each of your stats, right? You are instead dealing with your race and your class, your alignment, your skills, your traits, your equipment. There is a ton of different ways and they don't play exactly the same. So your backstory wants colors of dice and your class tells you what stats you really want to focus on, and you should maybe even trash some of them. And your alignment is something that you want to get right, but you don't have to get it right at first. You can kind of get it right by the end of the game. As long as you come around to being a guardian or to being whatever you're supposed to be, it works. The next thing about role player is that you get to roll. I mean, for a dice game, it fulfills exactly what you want. A big bag of chunky dice that are colorful. You get to roll the dice, you get to manipulate the dice, you get to draft the dice and they all sort of interact differently and that not only that when you place a die you might not like the placement but there are powers on each of the stats like wisdom and intelligence they all do different, some, something different so you can put a die in a spot and then kind of flip it to another side or move it so it really satisfies a dice game the next thing that i have to talk about is the drafting i mean this game has dice drafting and card drafting uh that are really great the, the market of dice has sort of, you rank them from low to high, the person who's rolled them gets to choose how they go. And then you're drafting them and you can choose the low ones, which if you don't need a good die for your stat, that's great, because then they'll get you get to go buy first in the market. Or you can go for those high ones, you really need them. Uh, but there's also cards that manipulate and re-roll the dice in the market. And there's sometimes where you just wanna get like a yellow die because it's got gold value and it's in the middle where there's gold. So there is so much going on interactively with the market. You know, people have different goals. Someone might want the equipment first, so they you know kind of what they might draft, but then they could throw you for a loop and say, nope, my class really needs those green dice, so I'm going to go for those. So the market and the drafting is great. The next thing I mentioned is that it is puzzly. So even though I said at the beginning it is thematic and it does scratch that itch, it's ultimately a puzzle game and it does it so, so well. I think that's why it sells and sells and just keeps selling. Because it's in the same uh, vein as like Azul and Sagrada to me. It's like, it's that kind of puzzle where at first you've got like bazillion choices. And as you put your dice and it, it gets more constrained and all of a sudden you can't do everything. You got to just kind of pick. And it, it is so great when you get to see that puzzle come together. And, and even if you've played just before, the next game can be totally different. And you're working on a different part of the puzzle. So it is a superb game and um, I'm very happy to offer it on this channel. So thankful to Keith for a signed copy. Um, Role Player has stood the test of time. I think for a game to be six years old, seven years old and still be a game that people talk about uh, is amazing. And sort of my last point is that it's expanded since then. I'm offering you the base game, but if you like this game, there's a ton of ways to keep diving into role player. There's monsters, there's familiars. There's a campaign recently that he ran on Kickstarter where you actually get to take your rolled character and go into a D&D world. So role player is the kind of game that if you like it and it's in your collection, you can keep going and it's a wonderful property. So that's our take on role player. We want you to win it. So remember, if you comment on this video in January or February, Give us a comment on why you like dice games, why you like D&D, your favorite story about D&D, or, you know, tell us why you like Thunderworks games. Um, anything you want in the comments, we're here to listen, and we're here to give you a chance to win Roleplayer. 
signed by Keith Majiga at Thunderworks Games. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.